What is up, nerd friends? Welcome back to the Nerd Bench. The Tunalizer's back out for a hidden gem. This one came up actually through an email that we got into the podcast that we want to make a video for to make it real easy to understand. We've got lots of good videos on what the Tunalizer does, but at a, at a glance, it's a motor analyzer. It'll tell you the symmetry of your sensor board, the uh, consistency of the strength of the sensors, the consistency of your rotor for the, the, north, and pole, the north and south charge that's on it, um, as, as well as the RPM and the Amtra, of course. We have used the Tunalizer with our spec team to kind of make sure we're not guessing on motor setups. It allows you to make multiple motors the same, or if you've got... M uh, several motors that are exactly the same model turn all that you can compare them see which one's better and we even even use this to help with modified motor tuning oddly enough but if you're using modified motors do the the one cell test voltage just to make sure it helps the rpm stay in check what we're going to talk about today is the tunalizers bench test usability not only does it have an ota programmer built into it that's right if you didn't know it has the bluetooth built in so you can do speed control tuning and updates with your tunalizer it also has a throttle output feature and what that does it is makes it into basically a real simplified, I don't want to say servo tester because that's not the right idea, but it mimics your throttle output with this knob. You'll get neutral, full throttle, full reverse. So I want to show everybody how that works. The main thing is, is while you're doing this, the engineering department told me you don't want to put power in through this side because you're going to have power coming into this guy. So the way that I power my tunalizer for this is I use a USB cable. That's There's right. a USB-C port on the side and you can get any kind of normal USB and that'll power that guy on. The speed control itself gets plugged in to the, the speed control port that's on the end. You see there's an S, a plus and a minus. The S is for your signal wire. If you got all black wires, uh, they are marked on the edge there or that's the white wire for regular speed controls. And I have the speed control connected to a charged battery pack over here. Auto test is for testing the motors that are hooked up normally through the tunalizer. Manual motor test allows you to hook the motors up, rev it up and down with this knob. Throttle output is what we're going to use to get into the speed control mode. And it says, please calibrate the ESC throttle range with the tunalizer before using this feature, or your motor may run with high speed at neutral position. Basically, it's warning you that if you hook your speed control up here without doing the calibration first, it's going to start running the motor. And that's not something none of us really want. So in order to do that, we hit enter, we get in there, and you can see here, I can crank this guy up and down, and it shows you throttle output. So I have a regular just stock hook up here. I'm going to do the calibration process. If you didn't know, you hold the button down, you turn it on, it starts to beep at you. You uh, then tap it for neutral. You go to full throttle, tap it again. Beeps twice, go to full reverse, tap it again. Beeps three times, and then it is calibrated. Once you get that going, you can see that it works just like your throttle does. You get blinking at neutral, red light during partial throttle, and a solid green at full throttle. Motor's running also, in case you can't hear that. That's why I'm holding on to it. And then same thing happens on the brake side. So, so that can be helpful when you don't have access to your transmitter or maybe you don't feel like going and get it out of the case or whatever, but your tunalizer is handy. Uh, just another one of the cool features that the tunalizer has to offer to pack some more value in there. I know this guy's a little, little pricey, but with all the things that it does, it's kind of worth it. Do you like podcasts? We do a podcast. Look up RC Stuff Powered by Hobbywing on your favorite podcast service, or you can get it straight from the source, anchor.fm slash hobbywing. We give away free RC Stuff each and every episode. All you have to do to find out how to enter to win is listen to an episode. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to shoot us an email, northamerica at hobbywing.com. And as always, folks, thanks for watching. It's the Charlie Show right here on the Hobbywing official YouTube channel. See you next time.